Welcome to part nine of my beginner Unreal Engine tutorial series. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to take the master materials a step further, and we're gonna be playing around with some textures that aren't just solid colors. So we're gonna be using a little wood texture, metal, all of these things. So I'm gonna show you how to set up one master material, and then that way you have much more control over all your materials in your scene, and you can add in some scalar parameters if you need to, or you can remove them. But this is, getting a little bit closer to using these in actual game modes or arch viz, anything that you want to use it for, because this is extremely helpful when you have large scenes, as I mentioned in the previous tutorial. So we can jump right into it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. So let's get started on our next step in the master materials. Let's launch the engine. Now, I am gonna be using textures that I have from my library. If you don't have these textures, I recommend you just download some from Polygon or iMesh, anything like that works, as long as you just have some textures to use. You could use Bridge if you already have it set up. I will be getting into that in a tutorial coming up very soon. I just didn't want to overwhelm people just starting out with Unreal Engine, but if you have already got that set up, then feel free to use those assets. So let's go to games. Next, go to first person, we'll call this cut nine PBR master mat. Create the project. Okay, and just like in the last one, I'm going to drop in three cubes. I'm going to scale this one up a little bit and drag it over, drag it over. Okay, and we're going to make a material. So we're going to call this master mat. I'm going to save it. And I am going to go to my material library. And maybe I'll bring in a bark texture. So uh, maybe not this one. I'll use wood. So let's just go down and find one. I think I was using this one in a previous tutorial. Yeah, so let's drop these in. I'll drop in the gloss. And then I'm gonna go to Terrazzo. Let's pick this one. And I'll just drop this in. Just take a moment. And let's get one more material. So let's just do a fabric. Need a 4K or 3K. So let's do this one. This looks good. It's an eye mesh material, so. Um, should be good. And let's do glossiness. Okay, so we should have just about everything that we need here. What we can also do just to clean this up a little bit is we can right click in our content browser, create a new folder. We'll call this textures. So let's just take all of these materials here. And do we actually lose one here? Glossiness. Oh, no, here it is. Okay. So we'll go textures. So we're going to move here. Let's grab all of these in here. Okay, cool. Let's go into the master material now. And I'm gonna pop open this. And let's start with these textures. So I'm gonna drop these here. And Maybe we won't use the glossiness. I like always bring them in just to have an option, but I think that that's just kind of a waste of time in this one. So let's hold S, click, create a scalar parameter. I'm gonna type in, oops, metallic. I'm gonna plug this in here for specular. And I will be doing something particular with specular, but just for setting this up, let's just leave it like this. And let's plug in the roughness. So 
Okay, so pretty basic stuff. Let's go 0.5. We'll just set this to 0.5 because these are just the baseline ones. So we'll hit okay. And I'll come back in here and let's drop this down here. So this is just a basic fabric that we put on here. We're going to clean it up a bit more, but that's good for now. Let's make a instance. So let's call this, oh, oops. Terrazzo, how to think about <laughs> how to spell that for a second. And, oh, oops, do I think I, did I make this a material instance? Okay, sorry, I thought I just duplicated it for a second. So as you can see here, we have the, we have all of the parameters here, but we don't have the option of actually changing the image texture, which is very important for this. So we're gonna have to make that adjustment right now. We're gonna open up the master material again going to click on the image sample, right click, and we're going to convert to parameter. Now what we're going to call this here, parameter name, color map. Then we're going to come down here, we're going to do the exact same thing with the normal map. So convert to parameter, we're going to call this, oops, click here, normal map. Okay, so these will now function the same way in the master material, but we have the option of changing them in the instance material. So we'll hit, we'll exit out of this. We go into Terrazzo. Now, as you can see, we have these options. So color map, scroll down here. Let's type in Terrazzo. Right here is what we want because we're searching in our assets. It's, well, it's just searching the whole engine, but since we have it in there already, we can just look it up. So we'll just type in Terrazzo. Hit OK. So as you can see, we have the color map on there, but we still have the, the fabric. So we don't want that. We'll type in there. Azo. It's looking a bit better, but we can make it a little more interesting by maybe turning this down to point two. So not perfect. You know, there's definitely some stuff that if I was using for Archfits, maybe this is a time to include the gloss map, but just because this is a fairly simple tutorial, I don't want to get too far into that, but we could very easily add that in as a parameter as well. So let's save that and let's place that here. And we also need to make one more material. So let's go in here, create material instance, and we'll call this one, what was the other material that I brought in? <laughs> uh, oh, just the wood. Okay, so this is just a wood. And I will probably make one more after this, it's just a metal. So wood, come in here, type in walnut uh, right here, and we'll do it again. So walnut, there we go. So the roughness is going to be three. Specular is already set up, so that looks good to me. Let's save it, and here we go. Now, there is something that I want to show you, as I mentioned, with the specular. So in this case, all of our specular maps were set to 0.5. So maybe this is something that we don't want to change. We don't want to give the person the option of doing that. So if we delete this and we just hold one and then click it, this is a this is just a scalar value. So it's it can't be changed through the instances, but we can make it so that they all have a value of 0.5 now. So this is like a hard coded number. And if we close this out and open this back up, as you can see, that's no longer an option. So there's a lot of uses that you can have for this, but I guess it's just stripping away certain things that you don't need. These can get very complex. So you might be like, well, I don't care. I'll just ignore that one, but you could have 50 parameters on here or even more. It just depends on what you're actually using your project for. Most of the time, if you're using this for Archviz, that, that is a lot more complicated, but for video games, they can get very, very complex. That's where I want to end the video today though, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something.